Okay, I've had a few emails lately about my three-phase energy meter, and I thought I'd make this quick video to show you where I am with it. All right, I'll just quickly show you the um, measurement function of this unit, so you can have a look. So I can just do info, and it tells me. So you can see they're all sort of ballparky, one amp roughly. You know, all the juicy bits. Minus 30 degrees. It says 30 degrees here. I've got minus because it's the way the unit interprets the phase rotation, so I can fix that. But um, yeah, otherwise it's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so what we're doing today is we're going to compare this injection set against the EDMI Mark Six E against the one that I've made myself. All right, so you can see the one I've made myself. I'm using these current clamps, so that's going to induce an error. I'm using this long lead with this clamp, and then the way it all goes together is going to induce an error. So if I can get less than 0.5, you know, I'd be pretty happy with that. So today we're going to test it. So what I want to do is inject 5 amps from 5 amps. So what I want to do is inject 5 amps, 63.51 volts per channel at 0 degrees. Measure it for 5 watt hours, or approximately 5 watt hours, and uh, see how we go against them all. Okay, so once I hit this green tick, it's going to start to run. Alright, so what's, what it does first is it puts the volts on, gets it a bit primed, ready to go. Then it just bang gets the current going and then you've got watts all right so now we've got the current going so you can see on the screen that the watts are going up in the reference and then I'll check at the end what I've got from out of my unit okay so we're almost there now 15 16 17 bang okay so we can see over here I've got 4.96 so it in the Omicron wanted to put out five. Okay, so we can put five in here. Or the Omicron, yeah, the Omicron put out five. Okay, so it's it's got a 6.6% error. I'm under test, so that's me. Let's have a look. I've got bang on five, so I've also got a 0.6 error. Copy. So, I've got roughly the same error as the Omicron. So, how can I fix that? Probably fix some of these leads. So, I'll have a crack at that. All the way, these leads and how you run them all has an effect. So, when you're dealing with current clamps, for example, the way you put the clamps in and install the clamps, it's all going to have an effect. Okay, so one more chance. See if we can beat it. Otherwise, I've got a lot more work to do. All right, go again. Clear the register. On the energy meter that I'm using as a reference. Go again, we've got 4.96, so it's repeated itself roughly. I've got again 5, so I've repeated the 5, so it looks like I've got a bit of work to do. So if you have a quick look at each channel, each one of these is the channel, you can see that my blue channel, or my C channel, is reading a little bit high. So, that be my problem. So, so the next step for me is to get it to full cloud functionality or maybe ThinkSpeak or even my own server maybe. Something like that. I will uh, be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, come back and you'll see a video about that. My three phase voltage supply project is coming along well. You should see a video about that one next week. Uh, a bit more progress has been made there. So uh, come back for that one and uh, see you on the next one.